Hi, I'm Dylan Nichols. This is my entry for the Infineon Sensing the World on All Three Dimensions contest on Hackster. It's a modern replacement for retro Atari controllers. It uses a single magnetic sensor to replace the electromechanical sensors that were used to detect direction or rotation. It allows for this single controller unit to replace these two types of controllers. This design matters because old controllers are clunky and fail with time and you could use this single unit to play all types of games. I call it the transforming Atari controller because this base can transform to either be a joystick or a paddle controller by switching out the joystick or the knob. I'm going to open it up to show you what's inside, although it's not required to open it to switch between the joystick and the paddle controller. All right, to take this thing apart, you take off the controller adapter and normally you would take out the four screws that are in here but since those are already removed i'll just take the top off and the button insert and inside are my electronics so the base is made so that the magnetic sensor could easily be swapped out so right now i have the joystick adapter in which i'm going to remove and you could easily put in the rotation knob in its place. The brains are this Infineon 3D Magnetic To Go microcontroller kit with 3D magnetic sensor. I used the Atari joystick controller for the enclosure of my project. I had to shave off some parts inside and 3D print this piece that holds the button in the correct place lines the microcontroller so the magnetic sensor is directly above where the shaft would go and I made this piece that holds the magnetic sensors at the right location. I also had to cut a hole for the D-sub connector to attach a cable and the USB cable that powers the microcontroller. Since the Atari provides 5 volts through the D-sub connector I used that by splicing it to the USB cable to power the microcontroller and its onboard regulator provides the 3.3 volts for other logic. The original Atari joystick works with five buttons. One for the actual button and then each direction has a button on, the li on its limit switch. My project detects the direction of the joystick using the magnetic sensor and then outputs a signal, which gets converted on this board from the 3.3 volts of the microcontroller to the five volt logic that the Atari requires. The rotation knob is sensed using the magnetic sensor and depending on the direction of its decreasing or increasing, it sends a varying duty cycle PWM to this daughter board where I have an RC filter which converts that PWM to an analog voltage, and an op amp, which boosts the 3.3 volt analog voltage to a 5 volt analog voltage, which is sent to the Atari. This rotation sensor also can be pushed, so whenever I'm in the paddle mode, I could push it to trigger a button press, or press the mechanical button, which typically is only on a joystick. So either of those send a signal directly to the controller. All right, I'll put this together and we could play a game. Here's my controller. It's connected through a D sub nine cable to the Atari. Put the joystick adapter on, turn on the Atari. We're playing missile command. We're set to start. And I could go left, right, up, down, and shoot. Let's see if I could hit a couple of these. Oh. Uh. Now I'll show you how simple it is to transform between the controllers. Take off the cover, and then in the bottom I have two holes. We'll shimmy out that magnetic sensor. That could be removed. Then we'll put the new sensor right in its place. Just push that in. 
attach that, and we're good to go. It's that simple. Now I'm going to try a game with the paddle controller. So to get into paddle mode, I need to hold the button while I turn on the console. So I'll reset. So this game's called Night Driver and you're a car. So you either accelerate by pushing the button or I could press the paddle in. So this game is a little hard. Let's see if I can play a little. At least it shows you that it works. Head on collision. Thanks for watching. Remember, you could find full details on this project at Hackster.io. The link is in the description. I'll send you off by showing you some Pac Man.